Also, I think you can pro jump from some uh, rails to other rails in that first bit there and have it somehow save a second. But it's probably very risky to do that. Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> I got the checkpoint. I'm making a lot of mistakes with the brush. It's probably not even worth trying to get a better time at this point. Just try and collect some extra power eggs. But I mean, I still want to go fast because I'm trying to get through this quickly. Which is going to be interesting. Considering this is going to take a while to get through all of the different weapons in every level. And we've barely started World 2 already, so... At least it's good practice for the weapons. And just good practice in general to go through these levels so many times. Money ticket. I'm pretty sure it's just alternating those. But they, I'm, I think they might get better the further into the canyon you get, but I don't remember, so. Right, this level. Probably gonna actually have to switch bombs for this. Because otherwise it doesn't work. This is an interesting level for speed. Ah. It's fine. Really? Oh, I hope I get a better time on this than with the best weapon <laughs> that I have. The way that they design some of these levels for long range weapons and not for short range weapons is, is weird. But you just have to deal with it, so. There are a few places where it could be optimal to switch to curling bombs, but there are so many places that you need to have Ah, uh, what's it called? Just regular splat bombs. It's crazy. And we're definitely going to use the special to skip to the end. Once we're close enough to have the stuff spawn in. Just like that, to the end. 2.22. New record. <laughs> and I even stumbled, I fumbled so much at the beginning of that, so... You know what? This level, when I think about it and the way that you have to use Splat Bomb sometimes, depending on what weapon you use, doesn't really make it very different. Except I think that Roller is actually going to be fine for this level. Somewhat if I throw like that. Yeah, kind of. This might be alright for this level. Yeah, oh, oh yeah it is. Oh yeah it is. Oh, it's so nice. Having an actual weapon that's long range enough to work. How did that box fall off? Can even skip that little thing there. The gusher. 206 with a roller. That's pretty good. That's probably not beatable at this point, <laughs> probably. Unless I can do it with like the sp splatling or something, which I doubt. <laughs> definitely not. Hang on, I've already done this one with the thing. Okay. And definitely not, um, <laughs> with the brush. Definitely not going to get a good time with the brush. Because it's just going to be splat bombs. Brilla's alright for this so far. Has decent coverage on the ground. And that's the only thing that's really making it different from the hero shot. I don't think it can reach everything, but maybe it can. Depends on where you are on the level. What thing you're trying to grapple to. You know, having the sun when I'm trying to grapple things is not really that helpful. 206 with the umbrella. It's alright. <laughs> I'm surprised that did better than the roller by a fraction of a second or whatever it was. But it could actually reach some of the targets, but not all of them. 
but still in, in combination with you using the splat bombs correctly, it just worked. Also, it looks like this one's got to be possible with this, even though I have to charge a little bit for stuff to work. The extra platforms aren't here for this, sir. So. Takes a while for that last grapple to appear. Also, what? 156 with the splatling, which I thought I wouldn't get a good time with. Of course. I understand now. I need to believe in the splatling when I least believe in it. Blaster does not have good range, apparently, since it's got the extra platforms. Also, my favorite obstacle, ink consumption. It's so good. Pretty sure I can just hit that, yeah. I think this is where the curling bombs are necessary for a really, really good time, probably. Why was the split link so fast? I guess it just has the, the range that it needs. It's not a... What's it called? It's not a charger, but it's still got the best range of any weapon, apparently. Slosh is alright for this, I guess. Some of the things it can't reach, but it can reach other ones, apparently. Oh, I need that. Can't skip that. Just missed it. It's the problem. And I think if you were to just skip this platform here and just use that with the stinger and then do it again, I think it would be fine, but it was also just a weird random thing. Also, what's with the time? What's with the time? Slosher? I, I, my, my love for the slosher grows every day. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. The sun is bright. Yeah, doing that first one to go get to the end faster is not going to work because it destroys... It destroys the special. Like, you lose your special if you grapple with it. Unfortunately. 228. Didn't that- wasn't that what I got with a different weapon? I feel like I was, but I might be mis mistaking that. I think it was 222, we should- no, 2, two minutes 22 seconds is with the one I think I got before with the hero shot. Okay, let's upgrade the slosher since that's doing so well for us, apparently. I think the problem with doing all of one weapon in a row like, if you were to play through each level with, with the same weapon, to try and do it that way. I think the problem with that is you won't get enough power eggs to upgrade it. Possibly, unless you've already upgraded it. I don't know. Maybe it'll be alright. It's probably fine. I'm probably overthinking it. I'm not sure how quickly we can get through this level, since we have to rely on the squeegees a little bit. But there are definitely some paths we can take, like up here, we can go this way instead of the other way and get through somewhat quickly. Why is there a sprinkler? So rude, so rude, so rude, it's fine. But areas like this is going to be slow, I think. Unless I can get the squeegee on my side early. Come on, please. Okay, there we go. Getting, getting to the end of that is difficult. This bit, though, should be fine. For the most part. Except for that one squeegee on this one wall. And now, of course, there's this giant squeegee that we need to lead away from here as soon as we've freed it, so... And then go around this. Like that. But yeah. I don't think I'm going to get less than two minutes. I don't think I'm going to get under two minutes with any of the weapons. I'm not that optimistic. You've got to be kidding me. Take that. Get into the squeegee. Cool. Let's go. 
Just try and get it to the end. So we can get onto this wall. Like that, there we go. Nice. I think that's the best time I'm gonna get. 3.11. I don't know if I can get a better time than that. Unless I can use Slosher, which is definitely gonna help a lot. Maybe? I don't know. Might be better at combat. And just goop, like, covering the walls, probably. Where that's one squeegee is. Guess we can also technically take the upper path as well. And jump down. There. Take out the sprinkler early. Just take out the enemies. Okay, Squeegee. Let's go this way. Please. Squeegee, what is wrong with you? Squeegee, why? Just go all the way over this way. No, no. Over this, over this way. Jump. Good. That bit's a little bit of a funnel. Bottleneck. Kinda wish I had burst bombs at that one bit there. But Slosh is just gonna have to do for that when we get there. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting under two minutes on this level. 247 with the charger. It's pretty good. Come on, Dooley's, I believe. Try and use the dodge roll as much as possible. Oh my goodness. I kind of can just use the dodge roll. Because usually I'd be in squid form to go fast. But there are a few places where I can't really do that. Like on top of these grates here, and that's when I think... Dodge roll is the time... That, that's the time for dodge roll. Maybe over here as well, since we have a lot of that pink group there to deal with. Just a lot of different ways to do things. Come on, Squeegee, let's go. Come on, Squeegee, let's go. If I can get through this section quickly. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's going to bring up my time. Or bring down my time. By a decent amount, I believe. Also, what happens if I jump down? Oh, I missed. That's not good. It's probably just best to stay on that rail. Until the end. Ow! No, go that way. Yeah, thank you. That'll bring it down my time a little bit, but I've already messed up a little bit, so I'm not totally convinced I'm saving time. If I can get this done quickly enough, maybe? I'm trying to be as optimal as I possibly can, and it is crazy. Just keep following the bombs. I'm surprised I made the jump work. Cool, 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 cool. I don't think I'm getting a good time, though. Nope, new record. 2.42. <laughs> Let's see what I can do with other weapons. I'm really just pushing the limits of what I can do right now. As much as I can. Not very much, but, you know, as much as I can. I think this game would be a lot of fun to speedrun. If you knew which weapon you wanted to use and you could just skip all the enemies. Like, if you, ha if you played a completed file, that is, and you just were able to use whatever weapon you wanted, I think that'd be pretty good. Nope, that's not gonna work. Making things harder for myself. Try and use some auto bombs as well, maybe. Save a little bit of time. Come on, Squeegee. I'm out of ink, that's fine. Just gonna skip that enemy. Thank you for your sacrifice. Just gonna ignore you, I guess, because I didn't get you. Oh, I fell. That's not good. It's fine. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Nice jump. Somewhat. Not faster though. It's a shame. Okay, I'm skipping that rail there if I can. To see if it buys me a bit of extra time. 
Okay, yeah. Skipping that rail actually bought me a bit of extra time. Just a little bit, but, you know, if you just don't go the longer way, I guess, it just works. That's what I like about going through this with the different weapons, it's just getting a better time like that, making every shortcut possible. The slosh is so good for just taking stuff out, oh my goodness. Like, seriously. 229 with a slosher. Very nice. It's getting closer to two minutes, but I, I'm not getting any, any further than that, sadly. Wow, that was close. Oh my goodness, brush. Never doubt the brush. Never doubt the brush. I need to stop doubting the brush. Just being able to run everywhere, and run on grates specifically, just... <laughs> combined with everything else we learn from every other weapon, just makes it work <laughs> so much faster. Anyway. This is an interesting level for speed. There's a lot of things that you need to take care of before you can actually move forward. And it's a lot of walls. But it's fine. I can't believe that worked. Definitely want to go this way first, I think, because I need to activate the thing over here. Which can make me go faster, slightly. Just gonna ignore that, I guess. And of course the end bit also has this cannon thing that we need to use quickly, which I guess means I should probably take out these sprinklers. Because they're gonna be the main thing holding me back. Nope, also the enemies. Ah, it's a shame, it's a real shame. Get, not getting a best time with a roller. Well, I got a new time at least, and it's under two minutes. That's a pretty good starting point anyway, so. That's sat so satisfying to get both of those rollers on, both, on, the, on the sides there. Activating when you're not even trying. At the same time, though. Ow! That's why I was so impressed last time with that. Because it just worked. There's also octocopters here that you need to take care of. 145. I also missed the end, slightly. But I still got it, so. And that was with the charger. Dualies is certainly interesting for this. It could be good. But I'm not sure if it will be. To just use dodge rolls. Whenever. Although this next bit over here might be good with dualies. Yep, good. Good stuff. 131 with dualies. Pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna beat that now. Or maybe if I do, it's by, gonna be like by one second. I have some hair on my microphone, like put a cat hair or something. And it just tickles my nose. It's really irritating. Can't get too close. It's my reminder to not get too close. Those sprinklers are the worst. Brillas are right for that section there as well. You guys are the worst. Ah! It's fine. I'm just mad. Well, I'm not getting a good time with the Brilla now. I just really don't like that these enemies are set right here. You almost have to take them out. Also this one here, I'm just gonna skip that with Umbrella. It's not worth it. It's only slightly easier getting past that part with the... Splatling. 
Yeah, that's not great. It's just not great. Also, you need to charge this a little bit more to do anything. So this is not going to be the fastest weapon for this level. Especially not if I've missed a sprinkler. I guess I need to remember that I'm also comparing these weapons all together when I haven't upgraded all of them, so... That's something to always keep in mind. I kind of wish that ink spread the more you, like, inked the same place. Which kind of happens, but not to the extent that I'm referring to. Like, imagine if you kept painting anywhere on the map and it just kept spreading. I mean, it would be difficult to get that to work in multiplayer battles, but... There are some scenarios where it'd be interesting to see how that worked. Like, as long as you keep inking your own ink, it spreads somewhere else. The points go somewhere. Okay, that works well with the blaster. Why I didn't kill you? Why? 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 why, 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 why don't. <laughs> I thought I killed you. Ow! I'm gonna die. Yep, died. Well, there, there ends the run of blaster. Because I didn't kill the enemy when I thought I did. Because the range of the blaster is just not good enough. Apparently. Might, which might be extended with the upgrade. I can't remember. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Slosher. Oh yeah, Slosher. Oh yes, yeah, Slosher. Oh yes, yeah, Slosher. Slosher, yeah. Yes, yeah, Slosher. Oh yes, yeah, Slosher, why are you so powerful? Had a bit of trouble at the end, but I got 131 again, so if I didn't have any trouble with the end, I would have had the best time with Slosher. Well, brush is not gonna go well. For some reason, I can kind of tell. Because I have to spend a lot more time using... Uh, my sub weapon in some places. It has the potential to be good if you like time it correctly with everything, but yeah. Because you can run around a lot more. But whenever you get pushed, like whenever these things get pushed back by enemy stuff, it just doesn't work. Not to mention close combat stuff. At this section here. This is going to be interesting. We have a Octoling level, which is going to be a lot more interesting, I would say. Because you're actually going against a better enemy, I guess. This one's interesting, though, because you have to get all of the Zapfish stuff. You can kind of use the Explosions from the uh, exact fish cages to try and take out the octolings as well. Like that. You just need to not miss any of the zap fish spots. Ah! Gonna go this way. Hopefully things work out fine. Should do. I need to make sure I'm not missing stuff, like I said before. You also need to make sure you grab the zapfish and don't just leave them where they were, because it's very easy to do that. There's one there. Roloff kind of feels good for this because of combat. Somewhat, but... I mean, I'm sure I could do better than this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, I just need the victory. There we go. 113, that's the time to beat. That's a pretty good time for a level, considering. But that that's a short level, so... Yeah, I'm a little bit more concerned about combat with a charger. It's just not quite... Not quite what I need for this. It's alright from a distance, it's just not great up close, which is what you probably want when going fast. Man, dualies are just good for combat. <laughs> I like dualies. 
Also, I'd, I'd, I'd have to say that these levels, where you fight Octolings like this and get all the mini Zapfish, are probably my favorite ones. Also, why didn't I go up that box there before in previous attempts? I don't know, but I got 101 with the dually, so. But I think with future weapons, I'm going to try using those boxes there, unless I break them accidentally, to get up to the last one faster. Ah, oh, the box broke. It's a shame. Really? You can just show up whenever. Doesn't matter what ink you're in. Okay, well, I'm not getting a good time with this weapon now. <laughs> it's fine. Also, uh, another problem that you can have with this is the cages on the zapfish respawning. I really would like to be able to jump completely with my weapon. <laughs> I shouldn't have to put away my weapon to be able to jump. No enemy? That's weird. Come on, Blaster, I believe. I believe in you, Blaster. 57. Nice. Blaster's just good for taking out the enemies up close like that. It's good for that level. Oh, yes, yeah, Slosher. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, Slosher. Oh yes, Slosher, let's go. Oh yes. Oh, very much yes. 49 seconds. It's just so powerful, especially especially because it's upgraded, but you know. Also, I can go up this way. Why haven't I been going up this way? That way just seems to make more sense to go up that way, because now I'm going to get a good time with the brush. Which, I guess, the brush is good for up-close combat anyway, so that makes sense that it would be a good time, so... Wasn't perfect, but, you know. And if I used a other weapons going up that other way, it would have been great. Now for Octo Samurai with different weapons, which would be interesting. Imagine it's gonna be not too dif different, but... The different weapons will definitely be good against him, so... Since it's gonna be a lot less limited by range and all that. I think if I rushed this a little bit more, I would have done better as well, because you can just basically go for him. Especially with the hero shot. Just like that. Wow. I should have rushed a little bit more in the first round. Wow. This boss is nothing with other weapons. 53 seconds. And I feel like most of that is cutscene, in a way. Charge is a bit slow. It's got good range though, which is the thing. Nice dualies. They're very similar to the Hero Shot, but less powerful because of how much you can upgrade the Hero Shot. Umbrella? Brella? Brella's pretty good. Didn't have any trouble. And of course, the Splatling has supreme range. And pretty good power, so... Just have to time it right. You can also check the overall progress of your single player in the Nintendo Switch Online app, which I think goes from... 100% to 1000% or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But I'm pretty sure because you can do it with every level with every weapon, the percentage that the completion is is through the roof or something like that. I'm struggling with the blaster right now. Really struggling. Big struggle. Imagine that's a lot better with the upgrade to the blaster, because I think it's going to shoot faster, probably. Faster and stronger, too. Maybe. I don't know. The slosh is definitely powerful, but it does have its weaknesses. 53 seconds with the slosher. Pretty good. I feel like there was one weapon that stood out a lot more than the rest when I came through here last time with all the weapons. I feel like it was brush, but I don't think that's possible. Unless it was upgraded, maybe. I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't think it is. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Not in this form. If you fight fast enough, you can kind of knock him back before he can actually do his attacks as well. <laughs> 